Hello again. So this is my first favorites video and I hope you guys like it. I'm going to go from skin, makeup, into a, one clothing item that I bought this month that I'm really in love with. Well, February. I hope you see I'm going to be more love as I know it. But to start off, let's start and go to skin and I love this product. I swear by it. It is amazing. It's done wonders for my skin. Like I have no acne. Like knock on wood. Um, I have no acne. I've been like kind of confident enough to go outside or like sometimes even go to work without any makeup on. I said brows. Brows are a must. But to go without any face makeup and honestly this thing is amazing. I love it. It's Lush's Ocean Salt. It's a face and body scrub, but I primarily just use it for my face, and it's a coarse and fine like sea salt scrub with like organic lime juice to brighten and avocado butter to soften your skin, and this is amazing. Like, I have no complaints. Like, this is honestly amazing. I have uh, oily skin, and especially in the T-zone area, and this kind of has like reduced that and reduced reduced my blemishes. I honestly swear and live by ocean salt like this is love it to death like it, it ugh, I just can't get enough of it um second is aroma the worm water it's toner water from Lush as well and it's like a gentle rose and lavender tonic for everyday use that helps hydrate sensitive skin and like like I use it for when I'm going to bed, like before I apply my makeup and as I'm going to bed, just in case I run out of moisturizer, moisturizer which I have. So this kind of just does the job and it works, I like it. Uh, next is Bubblegum Lip Scrub. I'm pretty sure it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a lip scrub that is bubblegum flavor that you can actually eat, surprisingly. It tastes good. Like, this is what it looks like. Sorry, my phone's going all off. And those three products that I've used lately are amazing. Like, I love them. I Honestly, you can pick them up. I have them because my roommate used to work there and used to give me these products to try. And, oh, they're amazing. I love them. And moving on. So the next I want to talk about is makeup. And let's, I guess I'll start off with my face. So... I don't use foundation because I don't like it. I feel it's too heavy for me personally, and I really don't need that much coverage. I just need something light that's just gonna do the job, and that is, this one's really messy because it's a bit of a makeup bag, and like, it took a trip, and, but it's the Dream Pure BB Cream, and it has 2% silic acid treatment. It's, it's apparently 8-in-1. It clears acne, conceals imperfections, minimizes looks of pores, reduces appearance of redness, adjusts to skin tone, it looks like it's so hand in hand, hydrates and smooths, enhances and clarifies, and zero oils and lightweight, which is a plus in my book. I hate oily face products for obvious reasons. And I've been using BB cream in general from Maybelline for quite some time. It's um, They've never broken me out. They've done justice to my sensitive skin. And um, the only complaint I can honestly say is if you are a shade darker than me, you know, they don't, I don't think they have a shade, I don't think they have a shade darker than like medium deep. I'm not sure, but I love that um, BB cream. I use it every day. Um, and it hasn't broken me out, so no complaints for that. Next is. Too Faced, and this is a Too Faced, uh, um, it's called Too Faced Amazing Face, it's a foundation powder, and I know this contradicts what I just said, but I didn't have a chance to use some powder, and my job was kind of like handing these out, and um, I was just like, might as well try, I need a chance to powder to set everything because I am an oily person. Um, so when I put on my BB cream, or my concealer in my BB cream, I use like a little dab of it and then just like powder on top to set everything and throughout the entire day like it does not budge this um this is it it's amazing i am warm honey and this is the 
and this is the inside. I cracked it recently. I dropped it and it cracked this whole entire piece off. So I was like, wow, this sucks. But overall, I love this product. It sets my makeup and it gets the job done. Um, and um, I love mascara. I love it. It's my favorite, like, next to brow makeup, like, mascara comes to give me a second. And I'm always looking for a mascara that can just give me long lashes. And this is Too Faced Better Than False Lashes Nylon Lash Extension System. So it has the mascara by itself and then the nylon lash fibers. And when I first got this, I was just like, oh, it's going to be like a primer and then you just do that. No, it's actually like, I don't know if you can see it, it's like actual fibers. It was like, when I opened, I was just like, there's the product, like what was going on? But then I was just like, oh wait, sorry, ooh. So then I, um, I apply the mascara, you apply your fibers, and then you do the mascara again, and oh my god, it honestly looks like you're wearing false, um, false lashes. And all my coworkers ask me what I'm, I'm using for my lashes, and this is it. I love it to death. It's amazing. It's, uh, and I only, and I, I, I freaked out so much. I was so scared they were going to sell out because it was so cheap. It was like $10. And when you can buy, when the regular price is, I'm going to say $34. So I bought two, um, two more sets of this. I was like, this is amazing. I don't want to ever run out of this. Like, I need this in my life. But even if you don't use the uh, nylon lash fibers, if you just use the mascara by itself, it still, like, gives you, like, long, voluminous lashes. Like, this is the business. And then, moving on, I have Van Kat Von D's Liquid to Matte Lipstick and Vampira. This... First off, I don't like regular lipstick because it's so glossy. It smears, it gets everywhere, it just transfers, and I know you can make it matte with like powder, but I'm way too lazy to do all that. And this, I love it. I love it. I love the color. I love the, um, the longevity that you get out of it, and it's amazing. The package is so cute, look at that. And I really want to know how to describe the color. Like, it's... I, deep red, not necessarily, mm, it's like a red with hints of brown, and then when it dries, you can see like, on the lip, like, it has like, hints of gold, and it's, it's just so beautiful, and I know, I just recently did, I just forget, I'm, I'll probably make a video about it, if you mix another color with it, you can also do Lime Prime Salem, if you don't feel like buying from Lime Prime, but this is what it looks like, I hope that's showing yeah, it looks a little brown. It's like a burgundy color with hints of brown and gold shimmer. I don't know. But yeah, I love it to death. It's so beautiful. Um, paired with like smoky eyes or like a, just a simple cat eye. It looks so sexy and I love it to death. Um, and my last makeup product that I've been loving is NYX Matte Finish uh, Spray. And like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. I love it. Um, I've been trying to go for a more matte look. Um, I've been just staying away from shimmers lately because I don't want to look too oily. And once I spray this on, I have a matte face the entire day. My makeup lasts ten times more longer. Like, I can sleep on my makeup and probably wake up with, like, you know, most of it on and still look kind of, you know, okay enough to embrace the day. And... I love this to death. And I've never used setting spray because I just never believed in it until now. Like, I love it. love it. And as for clothing, surprisingly, I did not shop that much this month. And I got this floral. Before I go into it, American Apparel is having the 60, 70, 80% off sale. I don't know when it ends. But, um,. It's online and in store, and I saw this. But I've always wanted this bodysuit, but I've never picked it up because it was like sixty-five dollars, and I was just like, Ugh. and I'm not a big fan of prints. However, I love this bodysuit. I love the print. I love the colors. I 
and it's so cute. And without further ado, I'm pretty sure you guys see me like post it on Tumblr. And I love this bucket suit so much. I got it's originally I want to say sixty five dollars. I'm not sure, but I think I got it for sixteen or twenty dollars. I'm not sure, but I love this bodysuit. I've worn it for so long, and I compare. I've I have so many ideas. I compare it with so much, and I've been wearing it so many times. And I actually wore it as a bathing suit, even though it's cotton. But yes, I love it. Um, they're still having the sale, and hopefully, it, when I have like some spare change and time, like I'll just probably go there and like buy something else. And you know, yeah. So this is my first favorites video. I hope you guys like it. Um, please feel free to contact me on Tumblr, YouTube, anywhere I've leave, left like a uh, way for you to message me. Please contact me with like suggestions, anything you guys want to see, anything that um, you see, want to see differently like lighting, voice, etc. So until then, bye!